Hello, thank you all for joining today. My name is Bing Wu, a postdoc in University of Waterloo in Chemistry Department. It's my distinct honor to be giving this talk at AAAAFM UCLA conference on cellulose nanocrystal biopolymer hybrid bio ink formulation for high resolution 3D printing of heterogeneous tissue constructs. 3D bioprinting is a technique for assembling biological materials in complex layout that mimics native human tissues. It reveals promising lists in the field of tissue engineering, such as skin, uh, liver, kidney, etc. In our group, we selected microextrusion based bioprinting as the printing technique due to its ease of use and the compatibility with multi material printing. The essential aspect in 3D bioprinting is the development of optimal bio inks. As the biomaterial for tissue engineering, several criteria need to be met, including hydration, mechanical property, biocompatibility, and biodegradability. Ideal bio inks must also meet the requirements for printability, such as resolution and pattern fidelity. Bio ink with strong shear thinning is preferred. The low viscosity at high shear rates prevent clogging and shielding cells from shear forces within the nozzle that can lead to cell damages. Once through the nozzle, the shear rate decreases and the ink thickens up again to hold its shape. In addition, the elastic modulus G prime should be higher than the viscous modulus G double prime as it avoids spreading and collapsing. To ensure high structure integrity and long-term shape fidelity, in-situ cross-linking and instant gelation after deposition are also preferred. Therefore, suitable bio inks can be natural biomaterials, uh, bio synthetic biopolymers, or the nanobiomaterials. In our group, we first select the arginine and cellulose nanocrystal as the bio ink formulation. The dimension of the high aspect ratio C in C from the TEM image are 200 to 400 nanometer in length and 10 to 20 nanometer in diameter. It's a very promising nanomaterial in bioprinting due to its optimal mechanical and rheological properties. We found that um, pure 2% argon hydrogen should support structure with a pores in the range of uh, 7 to 178 micrometer, but the hybrid hydrogen 2040, that is 2% argon with 4% CNC, displays the highly porous microstructure with a uniform pore size of 20 micrometer. Thus, the addition of CNC in argonite network improved the pore size and the porosity providing an ideal environment for cell act, uh, activity. Rheological tests were done on the bio ink. We compared the pure arginate in black and the hybrid bio ink in red and found significant differences between them. The hybrid um, bio inks exhibited strong shear thinning behaviors, which is contributed to the hydrogen bonding between arginate and synthesis. On the other hand, increasing arginate concentration from 2% to 6%, the viscosity increased over the whole shear rate range, but it do not imply strong shear thinning behavior. With same polymer concentration, their viscosity varies a lot at the low shear rates. For instance, the viscosity of 6% arginate uh, is constant at low shear rates at a magnitude lower than the uh, bio ink 2040. So it suggests the hybrid solution enhances the printability and the fidelity. In the shear thin region, the flow curve conforms to the power law model. Taking 2040 as an example, the slope is negative 0.77. An estimated shear rate at the nozzle wall while printing can be obtained based on the flow rate, the nozzle radius, and the value A. We conclude the applied shear rate at the nozzle wall is around 300 and the viscosity is 0.5 past second. This value is roughly three orders of magni magnitude lower than those at low shear rates, enabling the bio ink being extruded through a 100 micrometer inner diameter nozzle rather with no clogging. In pure arginate showing in black and the blue, the elastic modulus is smaller than the viscous modulus, indicating that pure arginate even at 6% is liquid-like and not suitable for 3D printing. However, the elastic modulus is higher than the viscous modulus of the hybrid bio ink, indicating more gel-like behavior. 
no crossover of G prime and double prime at the low frequencies means that the bulk ink possesses a permanent rigid net, uh, gear network. To evaluate the printability of the ink, five formulations were studied. We designed a liver lobby magnetic honeycomb structure, pure alternate with a low shear viscosity, get a poor fidelity while printing. With the increasing concentration of the added CNCs, the geometry occurs with the input design. The construct printed by 2040 showed low deformation and relative high accuracy. Therefore, serial suspension was added to the 2040 bio ink for cellular bio printing and studied it, um, its biocompatibility. Fireblast and hyptomer cells were encapsulated in 2040 and printed in the uh, honeycomb and the middle cavities separately. No significant difference in serial viability was observed in the molded and the bioprinted constructs, indicating that the bioprinting process is serial compatible. However, after three days, serial viability of both serial lines decreased, which may arise from the lack of serial binding sites in the hydrogen. It limits their adhesion, viability, and the proliferation, which was also confirmed by the fluorescent images. To circumvent such issue, one potential solution is incorporating polymers containing serious binding sites, such as GERMA, into the system. There is an ever-growing amount of evidence reported in research literature that GERMA is effective in prom promoting the serial attachment due to its RGD tripeptide sequences which are the major integrating binding domains present within extracellular matrix. So we developed our second version by ink, that is 1% uh, arginine, 3% synthesis, and 5% uh, germa, and the pure 4% germa. We studied the rheology as well. Germa's viscosity is around 0.1 pass second and varies later over the whole share rate range. The incorporation of CNC and arginine into GERMA a solution significantly alters the intermolecular interactions, leading to a strong shear thinning property with a curve slope of negative 0.85. The viscosity is close to 1000 at 0.1 shear rate, which is one magnitude higher than the bio ink 2040, indicating 135 ACG's superiority for bioprinting. In 4% GERMA, the viscous modulus is higher than the elastic modulus at low frequencies and only around 1 pascal, indicating the pure GERMA was more liquid-like at low frequencies and not suitable for bioprinting. Thus, we deposited GERMA in middle cavities, uh, which were supported by the honeycomb structure. The elastic modulus of 135 ACG were higher than the viscous modulus and over 100 pascal, meaning it's more solid-like and can produce scaffolds with good structure fidelity. By using 135 ACG, structures with uh, favorable fidelity up to a height of 1.8 millimeter is obtained, but the spreading and the collapsing occurred later. As mentioned previously, mechanic streams and the degradation profile are essential in developing bioinks, thus we did some tests on it. The compressive modulus of 4% GERMA uh, hydrogen was around 4 k pascal within the range of the stiffness of a healthy liver, meaning 4% GERMA provides a soft and a stable environment for HG2 cells. Compared to, to the GERMA hydrogen, the hybrid hydrogen were much stiffer, over 10 k pascal. Upon cell suspension in both bio inks, the modulus reduced uh, due to the softer cells and the material voice. Interestingly, the compressive model of both a cellular and the cellular 135 ACG hybrids increased on day 14, which can be attributed to the strengthening of arginine network by calcium ions in the cell medium. By cellular 3D construct with direct contact and uh, non-contact interaction between HEPG2 and the supporting fibroblast cells were fabricated to study the effect of the co-culturing. In the direct contact system, fibroblast and the HEPG2 cells were mixed in GERMA, filling the middle cavities. HEPG2 cells and sulfurized uh, were formed and the fibroblast elongated and spread over time. Interestingly, fibroblasts protrude from the uh, soft GERMA matrix to the stiff 135 ACG hydrogens due to the duraxis, and they align parallel along the boundary between the two different materials. 
In the non-contact system, fibroblasts were printed in the outer honeycomb and hep G2 cells were deposited in the inner cavities. Fibroblasts were found to proliferate and elongate in 135-ACG hydrogels and align along the boundary as well. Uh, interestingly, the two types of cells migrated towards each other over time and the direct intercellular contact uh, at the boundary occurred as shown in the blue circle. Besides the study of serum morphology and the proliferation, Arbeman secretion a liver specific marker was measured to access uh, to assess hep G2 function into in 2D, 3D monocellular, and the 3D bicellular co-culture systems. Compared to 2D system, Arbeman secretion hiked up dramatically in all 3D uh, cultures, indicating 3D GMI ECM promoted per cell Arbeman secretion significantly. From day 7 to day 14, we also observed that higher amount of Arbeman was produced in the co-culturing system, which could be explained by the presence of fibroblasts. Compare the direct and the indirect intracellular contact systems, there was no significant difference suggesting that the physical contact of the dual cell lines might not be necessary to influence the hepatocyte function, rather the fibroblast secreted factors matter. Besides the work on bioprinting liver lobby medical construct, we also work on fabricating a tumor model. The current extravasion models may influence endocrinological factors vital to cancer cell viability. Hence, there is a pressing need to fabricate an extravasion model consisting of human vascular endothelial that function as the barrier for the, traversal, the, the tra and traversing of circulating tumor cells to better mimic the blood vessel microenvironment. In this work, we prepared a much stiffer uh, a bio ink consisting of higher concentration of arginate germa and synthesis. It possesses a superior serial thinning with a slope of negative 0.94. Zigzag change and V light patterns were printed by bio ink with the same uh, polymer concentrations as shown in the red figures. It's obvious that the hybrid bio ink 246 gave high shear fidelity and uh, the in situ cross linking was employed to further reduce spreading, bending, and the rounding of the printed structures. Therefore, uh, the bio ink 246 was used for tumor model um, printing. We designed a colorectal cancer extravasation tumor model with two distinct regions called change and v to, ex to assess the capability of our novel bio ink 246. The change region was devised. Uh, to mimic a blood vessel cut in half, uh, and the villi region was to mimic the intestinal villi. To achieve a appropriate tumor model for investigating extravasion, we not only should have a monolayer of endothelial cells even on top of the villi, but also need to be able to precisely deposit cells in a well-defined well pattern. However, from the forensic images, there were no cells attached at the top of the villi. After seeding EAHY926 cells on the substrate, despite treating the print model with polyaerolysing. Therefore, we use their laden bio inks prepared by 135ACG to print a monolayer of endocellular cells and the clusters of cancer cells at a specified location on top of the, uh, the base scaffold, which was printed by bio ink um, 246, as shown in this, in this schematic. From the fluorescent images, a monolayer of uh, EAHY926 cells formed on top of the VLI and the change structures. HCT116 cells, as shown in the reddish color, were precisely deposited at different places, such as inside the channel. These images also confirm the accuracy of our bioprinting method. To conclude, we started a series of hybrid bio ink systems incorporating nanomaterials, CNC, and the biopolymers for the high resolution and the high speed printing of 3D tissue constructs via microextrusion. We found that the CNC with proven biocompatibility played a vital role in improving bio inks rheological and the mechanical properties. Two structures with well defined biomimetic geometries were successfully printed including bicellular liver lobule mimicking 
uh, construct and the layer the color reactor tumor models. Serial viability function, serial to serial interactions, and the serial to ECM interactions in the printed 3D structures were studied as well. Overall, our studies offer a promising route to greatly enhance bioinformations for printing complex architectures with multiple ECM components and serial types in sufficient resolution to recapture the biological functions. Um, that's it. Thank you all for listening.